Hello comrades and thank you for tuning in to another less than 10 minute review. Today I take a look at Mohamed Khazrawi's Trader Life Simulator, an open world business simulation where you run your very own store. I am reviewing this at a 2.1 update so my review may be a little bit more advanced than others. Still, Mohammed is an absolute madman who continually updates Trader Life Simulator and I keep putting back my review just to catch up to its latest features. But with that said, is Trader Life Simulator a game you want to dive into, or is it another mundane life sim on the Steam market? Let's find out. <music> Graphics, sound, and art style. Visually, Trader Life Simulator is not very appealing. It doesn't sound very pretty, and the town itself reminds me of my time in a remote Colombian village. It's charming in a very third world country type of way. Gameplay. While the game does not look or sound pretty, the gameplay is a life force of Trader Life Simulator and it, it oozes it in tenfolds. You start off by inheriting your very own store, akin to a supermarket, but it more so reminded me of a 98 cent store. Not to be confused with a 99 cent store. A 98 cent store is a one stop shop in almost every other street corner in Los Angeles. Think of it as a bodega for New Yorkers or your U East Coast crowd. It's a small shop where you get everything you need. Diapers, got them. Nutella, yup. Laundry detergent, chips, cooking oil, fruits, bread, all here, baby. All they're missing is cheap t-shirts, somewhere to make sandwiches, but uh, I'm deviating from the actual gameplay. You stock groceries and other amenities you buy from a distributor called the Jabber Shop. Uber Jabber. Here you can load your car with various supplies to stock your store. Have it delivered for $10 extra per box or take it yourself to your own store with your vehicle. Where in your store you will have the best employee in the world. A cashier who will charge customers for the items they pick out from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And only charge you $50 a day for his wages. You can order more shelves fridges or other displays to sell your merch. Know what your customers demand by checking your phone and play to the rise and fall in prices at the Jabber Shop to get the absolute best deals. Price, $19.99 USD. How many hours estimated? I'm about four hours into my gameplay and I'm having a blast. I can see this going into the 15 to 20 hour territory and maybe waiting a few months to see how much the game improves and but a little bit more time after that. Final thoughts. This game packs a punch. It isn't visually appealing at all. Hell, it looks like an asset flip, but it's by far one of the most oddly satisfying games I have ever played. The gameplay mechanic is great. I love playing the market with the varying prices. I love going around buying stuff and leaving my store to be handled by my minion. I, I mean employee. But the game isn't without flaws in the gameplay department. The hunger, urine, dirtiness meters serve only to annoy you rather than give you any gameplay element. Your meter will run down a good 50% at the end of any in-game day. And sure, you can place your toilet and bathtub anywhere, but moments like that break immersion. By the way, you need to buy a bathtub from the furniture store because for whatever reason, one isn't provided to you in your home. And once that dirtiness meter goes all the way to 100%, you can't sprint, and you walk extremely slow. Food is replenished only by eating at certain places, while having perfectly good merchandise to sack on seems kind of odd, but it's not the worst mechanic. The map is so broken. You bring it up by pressing M, but isn't taken away by pressing M or escape, rather by clicking out of it. This wouldn't be so annoying if you can track where you were in the map, or even set a marker on the map. Not to mention your car will start accelerating while you're looking at your map. I hate that every two, three, two to three days you need to pay $150 that you have on your credit card for your electric bill. I don't like that you can't set up your own prices for each merchandise or the fact that most customers seem to only pick up one item at a time. Yet, despite with all these flaws, I'm having a blast, I'm telling you. I learned to work around my annoyances, even discovering bugs like placing merchandise boxes on top of my car to bring more stuff to my store to sell. I love the progression and the growth that I'm making in the little while I've been playing. 
And with more features being added, like the farm to make more profit off, a second floor, electronics you can sell, I really see Trader Life Simulator being a game casual gamers can just play and take a load off to. The devs also seem to be real cool guys. Winter Rock with a lot of their fans on Discord and actually gather feedback. I mean, the game was released in February. We're in almost two months in, and it's gotten so many quality of life improvements. Trader Life Simulator is a great game in its core if you can get past the visual and tedious mechanics. Taken out a loan so I can buy a fridge to buy perishables felt, again, oddly satisfying. And you will come to that phrase will come to your head a lot. And you're going to say, wow, that's oddly satisfying because. It is what the game is in a nutshell. If you're on the fence about this game, I say you wait a few more updates so that perhaps it gets even more quality of life improvements, or if you see it on sale, just pick it up. $20 USD seems a bit much for a game that looks like an Unreal Engine asset flip, but I promise you that you will have fun. Wait for sale. P.S. When multiplayer gets added, I will immediately change my review to a buy it now because that's what this wacky game needs companionship you put that a co-op oh man it's gonna it's gonna blow up so bad on twitch it's gonna be so good for you